Now, I want you to experience this video as I go along, so please clear your mind for a second and think about the exact body that you want, your dream body. What is your goal body? Now, I want to point out a few things. When you think about it, does an image instantly pop into your mind? Do you instantly get an idea of what it is that you want? Do you understand exactly what it's going to feel like? Can you imagine yourself living in this body? Right? Can you imagine yourself interacting with different people in this body? Because if you can, you'll immediately get a rush. You'll get a sense of excitement and motivation and power. Now, if you're going to make change in your life, you're going to need these feelings in order to be successful. But how do you create them? See, most people, when they think about their goal body, they think about it and they have a, a blurry, vague image of what they want. Okay, Just kind of a general idea. I'd like to lose a few pounds. I'd like to be a little thinner. But it's not real. It's not concrete. And so you can see, as you look at this picture, when you look at the blur, it doesn't really have any feeling to it. Okay, And the problem becomes, we try and fight against this and keep ourselves on track when there's no real motivation behind us. But once we clear that image up and bring it back and recreate that feeling, make it crisp, make it clear, maybe add some color to it, feel ourselves running around, hear some sounds, people cheering for us perhaps, right? And once we do this, we start to feel different. Okay? Now, we have that motivation behind us, and now it pulls us and pushes us naturally towards exactly what we want. But again, sometimes people, when they think about it, they, they see this little image maybe in the corner. They have just a vague idea of what it is that they want. Okay? And now as you look at this picture, do you feel different? Does it have the same power that the big image has? Right? Probably not. So if you want to do yourself a favor, the best thing you can do is make a very big, clear image of exactly what you want. See yourself in these situations. Feel the feelings that you're going to have with this body. And as you do, you're going to have a strong sense of why you're making this change happen. And behind the why, you're going to have the feelings that are going to allow you to maintain it. All right? Now, I want to go through an experiment. So if you take a moment, again, clear your mind, and I want you to make an image of a cookie. Okay? Think of a cookie. Now, if you look at this image of a cookie, maybe it was like this or maybe not, but all of a sudden, most people, when they think of a cookie or sweet, it's crystal clear. It's this big image right in front of them. This has nothing, no small part to do with advertising, okay? So we need to advertise with ourselves because we're not going to be able to fight this image off with this image, okay? The emotion's completely and totally different. We're not going to be able to fight the image of big cookies off with this image, okay? Because the emotional value of the two are completely different. Okay? Not because the cookies are so good, but because we think of them differently. So we need to advertise to ourselves and realize that the reason we want this to happen is because it feels so good. Okay? It feels so good to have the body we want. We need to begin to think about it in that way and begin to feel it in that way. All right? So one of the things I want to do now is I want to get rid of the, the cookie image out of your mind for a second. I want to show you the perception and the way that you think about things has an effect on how you feel. So if you have a hankering for a, a chocolate chip cookie right now, let me help you out with that. Let's go back to that image of the chocolate chip cookies. And again, we'll change the color. Maybe that's not as appealing, but let's add a little bit of noise to it. Ooh, dentist drill. You can almost smell the smoke from your tooth when you look at those sweet cookies. Now again, that might be something that you don't want so much of now. All right. So again, take time and really think about what it is that you want to have your body look like and what you want it to feel like in the lifestyle that you want. Begin to hear all the sounds that you hear when you have this body, okay? Even if they're a little exaggerated. As long as they make you feel good, that's what we're looking for. And once you've done this, you'll always have this image and this idea to motivate you and make you feel good. So thank you for listening, and remember, nothing tastes as good as thin feels. Have a great day. Hey, we were actually watching that time. <laughs> Paying attention. Thank you, Jim Katsoulis. I love that video. I love that video, too. And he talks really about being very specific. He said, if it's, oh, I just want to lose a few pounds, that's, that's not specific. If it's, I want to fit into that red dress I saw in the magazine in a size four, and it looks like this, and I walk into a party and people react like this, or I feel like this in my body. When I bend down and touch my toes, it feels so good. And those are the kinds of things to really make it real, like a new movie. 
real specific. Even give yourselves a deadline. I see myself in that beautiful, you know, red dress or that beautiful, sexy red red outfit, whatever it is, on or before Christmas 2009 or on or before July. Be specific about the dates and then see yourself there. And I think one thing he brought up that was really cool, too, is actually see how other people are responding to you. Notice how other people are responding because we get so much feedback from each other and so often we're noticing what we're not wanting, <laughs> you know, from other people. So notice other people in your in your little fact or fantasy, in your fantasy, notice other people responding really positive to you and how good that feels. Anything you can do, you know, like Jim said, bring in smells. And he said, bring in, you know. The, crowd, the cheering crowds. The cheering crowds. That's what I meant by, like, people responding. And he said, bring in color and smells and sounds. And that's what's going to motivate you. That's what's going to be the driving energy that's going to keep you on the right track. And one important thing is you talked about this earlier. When you go out in the universe and you start collecting data or evidence, notice this. Whatever it is that you're wanting, I mean, I'm going to use weight loss as an example because it seems to be so much on the forefront of American minds for a lot of people. Notice the evidence of all of the thin and healthy people, or not even thin, whatever body type you want. It doesn't matter what it is. It's the body type that's ideal for you that you really like. When you go out in the world, when you're really focused on this, notice how many people have that. Now, sometimes, I know I've done this in the past, I have a body image goal, and I go out and I see somebody with the body that I want, and I'm definitely not there, like eating a huge plate of enchiladas and sopapillas. And my thought isn't, wow, look at them. They can eat anything they want and have that body. That's great. That means I can do it too. My thought in the past has been like, ah. Well, why can she do that and not me? I just look at those enchiladas. And pour them. I'm eating carrot sticks over here. I'm not getting to I have to suffer to get my body. That's not the way to look at that. Because In fact, you know what's important about that also, Brandy? I'm sorry to interrupt you. No problem. But your subconscious mind will never let you be what you resent in other people or in other people's experience. So I'm really glad you brought that up because it's really important. You have to allow other people to have the experience and see it as a really good thing. It's evidence that it's getting closer to you, that it's on its way to you. When you see really prosperous people in the world and, and they have whatever it is that they have and whatever you think is prosperous. Maybe they have great relationships or they have financial wealth or they have really good health. Something that you're really desiring instead of going, ah, God, they must have money. Why do they have that big house or why were they able to take that magnificent trip? Instead of saying that going, if they can have that, that means I can have it too. Rather than this attitude of, of there's not enough, meaning if one person has it means I don't get to have it. Right. It's just evidence. It's the universe showing you see Look, these people can have it. You can have it, too. You're working your way towards that. And notice how many more of those people you see out in the world when you're really focused on what it is that you want. If you want a brand new red car, notice how many brand new red cars are out on the road. And that just means it's on its way to you. And say thank you, universe, because when you see all those red cars, it's mean your, it means that yours is going to be in the driveway pretty quick. But, you know, like Brandy said, a lot of people see those red cars out there on the freeway and say, well, that's not fair. How come they get to have that red car and I don't? Instantly, you're sabotaging yourself. That's that's kind of what they were talking about earlier with that with the programming. And, and of course, you're sabotaging yourself because of that old programming. Somewhere you're holding those thoughts or those beliefs that you can't have it, that it's too hard, that you don't deserve it, that you're not good enough, that you're not worthy. And, you know, one thing that, um, since I am a hypnotist, <laughs> I, will, I will bring this up. Mm -hmm. A really good way, it, you know, if you're trying to do, you're making a, a real effort to move towards your goals and it's not working for you and you keep hearing those thoughts going on in your head, Go to a hypnotist. Find out what are those limiting beliefs. You know, some of them we're conscious of, where, where we have them in our conscious mind. Some of them are down here and are just in a weird feeling kind of place. And we just keep moving away from them because that's our job. As That's the subconscious mind's job is to move away from pain towards pleasure. Yeah, so... Take a nice deep breath. So, yeah, go and, and find out from a hypnotist or, you know, there's NLP, there's Psyche. There's all kinds of ways where you can get in touch with what that belief is that's holding you back. We call them personal lies or limited self-thoughts, limited beliefs. Find out what it is. Go in. Bring it up. Bring it from the subconscious mind into the conscious mind where the conscious mind can do its perfect job and analyze it. 
and, 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 and make a different choice. You know, we've accepted it or decided that it was true at some point in our life. And the cool thing about that is once we're aware of it and we can heal it, then we can change our mind. You know, if we accepted it, then we can reject it. If we decided it, we get to make another choice.